Hi. In today's project, we want to talk about concordance, how to insert one, how to edit one, and how to use it in a document. So, concordance are documents containing words that can be used in order to create an index. So, let's go to insert, table of contents, and index, table of contents, index, or bibliography. And from here, let's choose alphabetical index. Here we have concordance file. Let's click on new. And we want the location to be here in this folder on the left. And let's rename it concordance, my concordance. And the extension will be SDE, but we can remove it, just the name, save it. And you can see here the concordance will have this extension anyway. Now we want uh, to insert here the term that uh, the document will search for. So uh, if the document will find the word dog in singular, we'll show in the index the plural for these dogs. and. This will be under category animals. So I will have a category animals and under that we'll have dogs. I don't want to check match case or word only. Let's do the same for cats. The same the cats will be under animals. Now let's have forest. In this book I write here, I want to talk about rainforest. So anytime I'm writing forest, I mean rainforest. So I want the index to show rainforest instead of forest. And I don't want a first key. Okay, let's, let's remove this index. Let's delete it. And let's insert in the end of the document. I can open this uh, text with any editor text I want. And you can see it's a very simple structure here. I have the word, the word that will be shown in the index and the first K and so on. So let's write another one. Let's write um, city. If uh, it finds city will be under, uh, will show cities in the index. I don't want a first key, so I want to respect the structure I see above. So I will have semicolon, three times zero, semicolons zero. Okay, let's save it. So I can edit the concordance like this, or I can do this from here. I go to alphabetical index concordance file, let's not combine. And now let's see how to how to use it first. Let's write a sentence about cats and dogs. I want a dog. Let's update the index. The dogs appear under animals because let's see in the, uh, this SD file, if it's, uh, it's under animals will be dogs, Okay, if the document finds the word dog, I have here dog in the text, so it finds dog, shows dogs, and will be under animals category. So it's like I want it. Let's write or a cat. Let's update the index. I have cats at page two. So any mention of some special words I use in the book can be mentioned in the index. Of course, it's very important not to have common words like it, he, was, the, and so on, of. Let's use now the word forest. It's very hot in a forest. Let's update the index. I have rainforest because, I, as you can see here, anytime I want I see the word forest, I mean rainforest. So I want in the index to be rainforest because this is uh, what forest I, I mean. Let's use plural here. Okay. Now let's see something else. Now, uh, 
let's see um, you can create the SD, SD file by hand here in the folders or anywhere and from here you use open okay so it's not uh, necessary to create a new file a new concordance file from here now let's insert new york new york but i don't want to use an alternative entry because uh, new york is new york okay i don't need any alternative so I don't need to write something like this because it's the same term and I want to be under cities. Okay, now let's use the word New York. Let's update the index. And New York is under cities in spite of not having the alternative, key, alternative term. So let's see. So New York is just in the search term and no alternative entry, but it shows New York because it's search for search term or if I have an alternative entry, it's, it, it's taking the alternative entry. So it's very easy to use. It's very easy to create. Uh, you can create from LibreOffice or any simple text with SDE extension. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.